morning everyone um, welcome back so in today's video I just thought I would show you guys how I make espresso it is like so freaking rainy outside it's storming it is dark it is gloomy and I just thought on a day like this it would be perfect to show my espresso recipe because I'm about to make any or make some anyways I'm sorry I just woke up I'm like out of it but yeah with weather like this I think it's just the perfect time to make a little aesthetic coffee video. Do you guys feel me right now? So I'm gonna stop talking. We're gonna get to it. Voiceover Morgan is going to make an appearance in today's video. We're gonna make it aesthetically pleasing. Like I'm not very aesthetic as a person, but hopefully my videography can be aesthetically pleasing. So let's try this. We're gonna get right into it. I'm also gonna do my hair before I do this. All right, see you guys in a second. Alrighty guys, so the first thing that you need is obviously an espresso maker, so I have this one right here, I will write the name for you guys, but yeah, so there's there's my boyfriend too. Okay, so you're gonna put water in the bottom up until that little bolt, that little gold bolt. Don't put it any higher than that. You could have an explosion or something, so I just put water up until that little bolt just to stay safe. All right, so you guys can go ahead and set that water aside while we fill the filter with espresso. So I like a few different ones. I like La Llaves and I also like Bustelo. They're both very, very good espressos, um, both very smooth, but very, very strong. And obviously that's like perfect for espresso. So you're just gonna fill it, you're gonna pack it, you're gonna get as much espresso in that filter as possible to make obviously the best espresso ever, duh. And then you are going to put the coffee filter where it belongs, which is right there. Obviously, you can see that. And then you're going to screw on the top of the espresso maker. And yeah, you're going to have a complete espresso maker without the parts being apart. Okay, and then you're going to turn it on high. You're going to let it sit there until, you know, espresso comes out of the espresso maker. Obviously, that's the whole point of it. And then, in the meantime, get your sugar. Okay, we're going to make a very important concoction that will make a froth for our espresso. This is optional obviously this is just something I do so I do about three scoops three generous scoops of sugar into um, what is that thing called a measuring cup yeah um, you can do that or you can do like a bowl a decent sized bowl oh oh you can see that my espresso is ready okay so um, take the little bit of espresso that brews out at first this is not the full espresso yet but just the little bit that comes out pour it into the water water <laughs> pour it into the sugar and put it back on the stove and stir your girl you're gonna stir until that becomes a not slimy okay that's not good right there nope 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 you're gonna stir it until it becomes like you guys will see I don't know the the consistency I'm looking for here but you will know okay right here it could have been a little bit longer that I stirred it, but like that's generally what you're wanting. Look, my espressos are completely done. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take that espresso, pour it into the concoction, and yeah, you're gonna stir it in there. Oh, 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 I spilled. I done did spill my espresso on my countertop. I didn't screw on the top tight enough, clearly, but you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna clean that up because I am disgusting. Oh. Perfect, thank you. All right, so now you're gonna stir it. Like I said, that um, little concoction could have been stirred a little bit longer and it would have made the froth a little bit better, but for time's sake, I did not spend 10 minutes stirring sugar and espresso together. So now look at this beautiful aesthetic shot. Yes, queen. So that is my espresso recipe. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and make sure you stay inside, stay safe, wash your hands. I love you guys. See you in the next video.